Okay, here's the uh, motor sitting on the dyno after it's uh, two horsepower per cubic inch pull. A um, couple details about this motor is it's a um, 3.1 liter Corvair engine. That's 189.9 cubic inches. Um, about 14 to 1 compression. It's strictly a um, drag race engine. I make no pretensions of it being anything else. Um, that's what it was built for. Go over on the side, and hopefully you can see the uh, relocated spark plug holes right there above the valve cover. Going down a little bit, you can see the headers and collector. See the uh, ignition and the coil. Moving around to the front, see the uh, large balance tube connecting the uh, two sides of the plenum. Moving down here you can see the magnetic uh, trigger wheel and the pickup. There's the vacuum pump which uh, gives me about uh, 17 inches of uh, crankcase vacuum. Move over the side you get a better look at the um, intake system here. You can see the carburetor which is a 500 CFM uh, Holley. Uh, there's the plenum and of course the, the runners underneath. There's the starter. Now uh, move on over to the uh, computer screen over here. Zoom in a little bit and refocus. You can see the uh, horsepower and torque curves. The horsepower is in the red and the uh, torque is in the green. And, um, let's take the cursor and move it down to the torque peak and hopefully you can see that the uh, torque number is 250.3 foot-pounds and that's a number I'm really proud of because that's a very good number and it's, uh, it's really hard to make good torque. Let's move the cursor up right there and you can see it made 380.1 horsepower at 8500. Um, and we move that cursor out and you can see it's still making 300 and 74 horsepower at uh, 8900 so the horsepower carries out real well but that uh, 380 uh, horsepower that's two horsepower per cubic inch and I'm pretty sure that's a record for normally aspirated Corvairs anywhere in the world